Hello dear friends, imagine, a thousand years ago, if you were standing under a clear night sky, you would see a glowing red light. To the naked eye, it looked like just another star, but in truth, it was no star at all. For ancient civilizations, this red light carried meaning. Some linked it to the god of war, some to fate and power, and some even imagined it as the second home of life after Earth. That red light is Mars. But what if that red light was once a real home for life itself? What if rivers once flowed here, winds roared across its valleys, and perhaps creatures existed that we can't even imagine? That red world is Mars, and the truth you are about to discover will leave you stunned. But here's the question, was Mars always like this? Has it forever been barren and lifeless? Or were there once flowing rivers, blowing winds, and maybe even signs of life? Today we are about to uncover those secrets, and believe me, the truth you're going to discover will leave you amazed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Show it to your friends, and watch till the end you might discover something about Mars you've never known. Mars is known as the Red Planet. The reason is simple. Its soil and dust are rich in iron oxide, essentially rust, giving the entire planet its crimson glow. From Earth, this red tint makes Mars stand out like a burning ember in the night sky. But size-wise, Mars is a world in between. It is half the size of Earth, and has only about one-tenth of Earth's mass. Its gravity is weaker too, just 38% of Earth's. Meaning, if you weigh 60 kilos on Earth, you'd weigh only about 23 kilos on Mars. Yet, for all these differences, Mars has one uncanny similarity to Earth. Its day length, a Martian day called a Sol, lasts 24.6 hours, almost identical to Earth's. This makes Mars one of the most promising candidates for future colonization, a place where human life with the right technology could adapt. Mars has fascinated humanity for millennia. In ancient India, Mars was called Mangal in Vedic astronomy and astrology. It was associated with strength, energy, and even destiny. The Greeks knew it as Ares, the god of war, because of its blood-red color. The Romans inherited this idea and named it Mars. To them, it symbolized battle, power, and conquest. But Mars was not only feared, it was also revered. For countless cultures, it was mysterious, sacred, and powerful. For thousands of years, humans looked at it, imagined stories about it, and dreamed about what it might hold. Today, when we see Mars, it looks like a giant desert world. Dry, silent, lifeless. But billions of years ago, it was a very different planet. Mars had oceans, rivers, lakes, and possibly even rainfall. How do we know this? Thanks to the robotic explorers we've sent. NASA's rovers, Curiosity and Perseverance, have uncovered remarkable evidence. They found rounded pebbles that could only have been shaped by flowing water. They discovered layered rocks formed by ancient riverbeds. They captured images of dried up deltas and floodplains. The Jezero Crater, where Perseverance Rover is working today, was once a vast lake connected to a river system. Imagine that for a moment. Billions of years ago, Water waves lapped against the crater's edges, carrying sediments, shaping valleys. Mars was blue and alive. So what happened? Where did all that water disappear? Every stone, every ridge, every mountain on Mars tells the story written over billions of years. But recently, Perseverance has revealed something new. Unusual rock formations never seen before. These rocks are not just ordinary stones scattered on the Martian ground. 
Their textures and mineral layers suggest they were shaped by forces far older than Olympus Mons or Vallis Marineris. Some carry signs of ancient lava flows, while others hold tiny patterns that look like they were once touched by liquid water. Imagine this, a rock sitting silently for billions of years, holding inside it the chemical memory of Mars' lost oceans. When scientists analyzed their composition, they found traces of carbonates and sulfates, minerals that on Earth are usually linked to water-rich environments. This means these rocks may be direct evidence of environments where life could once have existed. But that's not all. Some of the newly discovered rocks show magnetic signatures, hinting that Mars once had a powerful magnetic field. If true, this changes everything. It means Mars was once much more Earth-like, with a protective shield against solar radiation, making it far more habitable than we ever imagined. So these rocks are not just stones. They are time capsules unlocking stories of Mars' fiery volcanic past, its lost rivers and lakes, and perhaps even the conditions for ancient microbial life. This is the beginning of a new chapter in exploration. Mars is no longer just the red planet. It is a planet of hidden memories locked inside its rocks. The answer lies in Mars's atmosphere. Long ago, Mars had a thick, protective atmosphere and a magnetic field strong enough to shield it from the sun's deadly radiation. But unlike Earth, Mars is smaller and its internal core cooled faster. Without the molten core, Mars lost its magnetic field. Without the shield, the solar wind, the stream of charged particles flowing from the sun, began stripping the atmosphere away. Slowly, century after century, Mars lost its protective blanket. Its atmosphere thinned, pressure dropped, and with it, water evaporated into space. Today, the Martian atmosphere is only 1% as thick as Earth's, barely enough to protect anything, barely enough to breathe. This is why Mars turned from a wet, habitable world into a frozen desert. Take a look at Mars's rocky surface. These stones are not just random boulders, they are storytellers. Some of them are volcanic rocks, evidenced of violent eruptions from Mars's past, when its volcanoes were among the largest in the solar system. In fact, Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano in the solar system, stands on Mars. It's three times taller than Mount Everest. Other rocks are smooth, rounded pebbles. Shaped by water currents billions of years ago, silent proof that rivers once ran across this land. And some rocks are sharp, jagged, and oddly sculpted, as if someone carved them by hand. Their unusual formations continue to puzzle scientists, raising questions about erosion, wind, and perhaps even unknown processes. Mars's surface is not empty. It is a geological library, holding a history book that stretches back billions of years. The biggest question remains, could life have existed on Mars? Today, the surface is deadly. Temperatures plunge far below zero, radiation is everywhere, and the air is too thin to breathe. But what about the past? Scientists believe that billions of years ago, Mars had conditions suitable for microbial life. Underground lakes, mineral-rich soils, and stable climates may have supported tiny organisms. Even today, the possibility isn't zero. Microbes could still survive deep beneath the surface, in underground aquifers or frozen ice layers. That's why Perseverance rover is on a historic mission, collecting samples of Martian soil and rock. These samples will one day be brought back to Earth, and if they reveal fossilized bacteria or chemical signatures of life, it will change everything we know, not just about Mars, 
but about our place in the universe. So what's next? NASA, SpaceX, ISRO, and other space agencies all share a single vision. Humans living on Mars, planning giant rockets that could carry settlers to Mars within this century. NASA is working step by step, preparing through moon missions. ISRO is building its capabilities, but challenges remain enormous. Mars has deadly radiation. Its thin air makes breathing impossible. Temperatures swing wildly. Growing food will be difficult. Finding water will be critical. And yet, technology is advancing fast. Radiation shelters, artificial habitats, and hydroponic farms are being designed. New rockets are being built that could carry hundreds of passengers at once. 50 to 100 years from now, Mars may no longer be just a planet we look at. It may become a world where humans live, work, and build homes. Thank you for watching till the end. You were watching all about Mars surface. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it with your friends, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Your feedback and support mean a lot to us. For more exciting and informative content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update. I'll be back soon with another amazing video. Until then, take care and stay connected with All About Mars Service. Thanks for watching.